Hey guys, RC. Don't worry about me. I'm, I'm just floating up here in the sky. But uh, new game that I just picked up, Merchant of the Skies. I uh, actually saw Pinstar playing this. I watch him a little bit. Uh, and uh, kind of a... Um, Kind of a repetitive game, uh, you know, point and click type thing. It's it's a gathering and trade game. Um, not much in the way of strategy needed, but you know, you have quests that you have to fulfill, and you can buy your own islands and set up production chains and whatnot. But it's a cute little game for what it does. Um, I played it for a little while, uh, probably about three or four hours yesterday i played it a little bit this morning and uh, figured i would go ahead and record kind of this uh a review of it let you guys know about the game it's very inexpensive i think i picked it up for 15 bucks 14.99 but anyway let's get into it uh so you can see i was uh i had completed one of the five campaigns uh so uh, we could do a full cam, you know. We could do a campaign, I guess. But I was gonna do sandbox mode. But we're gonna do a new game, uh, sandbox mode. You know what? I guess we will do the uh, we'll do the campaign. And what I noticed on the sandbox, you can actually set your map size anywhere from six by six up to sixteen by sixteen. So it's pretty pretty large map. Uh, let's go ahead and. Do the campaign for you guys to check it out. And let me know what you think about the game. I'll kind of walk you through the basics. Uh, this won't be a full-blown series. just. Uh, but, you know, if you do like it, hit the like button and make a comment. If it's something you'd like to see more of down the road, I do take that into consideration. Uh, so you get a letter from your Uncle Bo, and uh, he gives us a family relic. What I'm doing is left-clicking on the uh on the with the mouse and that skips past things so we've picked up a little flute there so we can take a look here we have our quests uh our goals right now we only have to earn fifteen thousand in wealth any letters that we've received special items and there is our dudic uh the family relic and an explanation of world resources so you have wood uh, apples, gems, lumber, stone, bricks, iron, iron ingots, sand, glass, bottles, batteries, gears, bread, dye, medicine, rainbow flowers, tea leaves, wheat, apple juice, flour, and the golden egg. So when you land, you start off with this really small ship. And we can take a look at it. It has, uh, that's what I'm looking for. It has room for four things of storage. Uh, you start off with 10 batteries and you cannot buy new batteries. I have not found a place in the game to buy new batteries. Don't worry though. Once you, you know, we'll talk about batteries in a little while. So you have room for basically three items that you can store. Basic rule of trading is to do what? Buy low, sell high. And we can look at that here. We can see this island that we're at, Cloudlock, is very expensive on all of these items. So this would be a place that you'd want to sell items, these four items. Now you learn as you go. So we're going to recharge. This is an electric charging station. Not every island has all of these things. Some are barren islands. Some are just resource islands. Some have trading posts, some don't. Some have these recharge stations, some don't. So you have to manage your distance and how far you're going. So you can see the little blue arrow is now fully charged because we have bought that. It cost us three of our 150. And you can use the A and D keys or the left and right arrows to move across. So let's see what we've got here. We've got a recharge station. We have a trade post where we can trade things. We have a post office. And then we have a shipwright. So we can purchase new ships. Let's just take a look. So here's the ship that we start off with, the plane boat. And it gives you a comparison of the new one you're looking at against yours. And this is ours. So it can go 45 miles an hour. You can have one upgrade on it. You need at least two crew members, but a maximum of four. 
It'll hold four items in storage and it consumes 0.22 energy per day and it has three energy allowed. Now, if we look through some of the other boats, there's the pink, a little bit slower, one extra upgrade, takes one extra crew person, which does cost you money per week. So keep that in mind. Uh, energy consumption doubles, but it holds more than double the energy. What I would recommend is, and you can see that costs 776. Now they only offer these two. Make a boat purchase one of your first big purchases, but don't go to zero, okay? Because you do have, every one of these is a day, and at the end of the week, you have to pay your salaries to your crew members. And that is, uh, you know, if you can't afford to pay them, you go bankrupt and the game's over and it is a permadeath. Now, there is a trick, not a trick, but there is an island that has a bank on it. Once you find it, you can put either 10% or 50% of your on-hand money into the bank. The bank will basically give you the money back to pay your salaries. So that's how that works. Well, let's pop into the trade bazaar here. And all they sell is wood, but you can see it's very expensive. So we're not going to buy anything here. So we're going to get out of that. We are going to head over here and, oh, there's a quest. So they have said, hey, deliver this letter to Kingsburn and we'll pay you 100 gold and give you a ticket. Now the tickets are kind of neat. Once you get tickets, you can buy down the tax rate by hitting reduce tax. It takes three tickets to do it, but it will reduce the tax income by 15%. So if we look at this, uh, let's see if I click. Oh, they have a 21% tax, right? So these cost eight gold per law, per piece of wood. Well, you could cut that. That includes a 21% markup. Well, with seven... You know, we can buy that down 15%. So with six tickets, we could basically get things at cost on this island. So something to think about, you know, you have to kind of pick and choose. So what are these? Well, this pauses our game, changes the settings. This looks at our skills and perks. As you get skills, you'll earn points. Now there is a certain island you have to go to to cash those in. So uh, depending on where you're at on the map may not be the easiest place to get to. Once you have discovered a new uh, city, it will appear on this map, on this list, and it will show you all the items that they sell and the whether it's a very inexpensive to, you know, it's one gold to five gold, low to extremely high. And there are six additional basic items in the game. And so we'll learn those as we go. You can also sort by distance. So we can, you know, if you have, 20 places on here you can sort to see which ones are closest and that may help you determine how you want to set up your trade route uh, this is our journal we already looked at that the quest and everything so we are going to kingsburn first and once we hit are ready we hit the little boot and it'll bring us out to the map and it does give us a quest marker up here so that's where we want to go so we're just going to left click on that and you'll see we learn more about our surrounding area. So everything does not line up in a perfect grid. Some of them are offset, but you basically will have a line somewhere here, somewhere here, 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 here. So, you know, but it's a it's either a 12 by 12 or a 16 by 16. We're going to hit the E key or you could click on it with the left mouse button. And we will zoom in and you can see we have used about one third of our energy. So we can't go very far. All right. So here's the trade post uh, here and it's flashing so we can complete the letter. Boom. We pick up some cash and we got a ticket. Can you help us establish a supply chain? Well, let's see what they want. They want us to do glass. So buy an eye to make glass you have to buy an island with a sand pit then build all of these things and then get the glass production and then deliver 10 glass bottles for which you'll get 2,000 I'm gonna pass on that for right now 
Uh, so we're going to decline that. But we are going to come back and take a guild task, and they want us to deliver a letter. So this will be the quickest way to make money and explore some of the map. We can come over here and look and see what goods they have. And you can see they have stone, wheat, apples, dye, and sand. All of them are very expensive as well. So we're going to back out of that. Now this is a new place. This is a house. This is where you can hire more people. So we can hire, we can take a tourist on board, and that's an, another quest. We can hire people, and then they also, at this one, have a recharging station. So we're going to recharge all the way, cost us two gold, and we're going to leave that, and we're going to take off. Now, you see the little red arrow? That's pointing us in the direction of the next quest. So we're going to head in that direction. But I don't want to go all the way because I want to keep myself open for anything that we find. And we want to open up new places. So we found this island of mysterious hands. We'll click on it. And if we don't have any options here, we'll get a letter about that. So don't worry about it. All right. We're going to keep going towards that area. And we have, oh, there's something right here. And this is the island of White Crag. And it's just an empty island. But what you can do is you can scout for resources. And then if you left click and hold this, it'll fast forward through it. So we just picked up three iron. Now, on your ship, you can actually get a module. And the modules, there are seven or eight different ones. Uh, this one takes some type of pick. We could actually mine this island once a day and get, you know, three to six, you know, uh, pieces of iron for free if we install that module. So we'll have to keep that in mind. But you can, any island you go to the first time, you can scout it and get resources. After you've scouted an island, then you have to have the module in order to open it up. Now, you see what happened? We ran out of power, and it took two batteries to recharge us. So that's disappointing, but there was no other recharge station on the way. So we are going to go through these batteries. All right, so first thing, let's complete the letter delivery. There we go. And then we're going to come and recharge while we've got money. And then we're going to come here. Oh, well, hey, this is different. Well, let's look at the upgrade ship first. So here's the module. And here are all the modules that we've got. So you can see they have a cost associated with it as well. And we only have 343. So I'm going to hold off on doing any of that just yet. But we do have an option here to help Eva and Oro transport her to Light Crag Island and build a workshop for her. And that once we've done both of those things, we'll get 400 gold and two tickets. So we'll take that. And then it walks you through some, you know, some discussion. All right, so we have that. We've recharged. And they want a production chain as well. It's the same thing. So let's decline that for the time being, but let's take a guild task, and they want a letter to South B. All right. So South B is up here. So let's go ahead and head back. We're going to burn through our batteries here, unfortunately. Hopefully White Crag might have a recharge station. So we've discovered a new trade post. And the first thing, if we go down here, now you see we have three cities on here and we've opened up all but one column. And you can see they're all pretty expensive. So the rule of thumb is if you can find one with one or two, you want to buy there and then sell at the four or five. Now you can buy at a three, but you really want to sell at a five to make it worth your while, right? So that's kind of how that works. So let's look at what they've got. 
everything's very expensive but they do pay five gold for that iron so you remember that three iron that we bought now you can single click and that's a left click back and forth or you can go by 10 by holding the V or Z will do times 100. So if I hit Z like I am now, you can't see it, so trust me. And then left click, it'll move a whole stack of 100. So they're going to pay us 155 gold for that. We're going to go ahead and take that. All right, moving down here. All right, we're going to complete that part. So we've transported her. Now, what do we need to build the workshop? We need 20 wood and 8 stone. So you'll have to make a note of that or come back and check your journal. And it does appear in your journal. Actually, it does not. I lied! So you have to actually remember that. I need 20 logs and 8 stone. All right. And uh, a guild task. They want us to deliver 98 wheat and 40 herbs. That's an awful lot. I'm going to decline that. You can only have four quests at a time. So, you know, until you actually have the ability to hold that, you know, have the money to buy that stuff or, or you know you can farm it, you might want to hold off on some of the more expensive. All right. Let's see if we can come grab these. No, if you have a crane module, you can gather these boxes that are floating around in space. You see this storm right on the edge here? Those will appear at random. Those will slow you down and drain more of your battery power. So you want to try to steer around those. There are also wind gusts that will pick, pick up your speed and help you have better... Uh, better fuel economy, so to speak. Uh, let's see. Take a guild task. Deliver a letter. We'll take that. So it's flashing because it's they want us to do this production chain. I don't want to do that just yet. Besides, I haven't found a sand island, so we don't know that we want to go there. All right. We need to recharge. It's going to cost us 12 gold. What you're going to notice is the farther you get out from the center of the map, the more expensive it is to recharge. All right, so here with they they have three items that they'll buy or sell, and they're all very expensive. So we want to kind of stay away from that, but we do have a full battery. All right, that it, that's lit up because we have the quest for Aura's Workshop. Ooh, and this is something new. These are like those boxes, and those boxes that were out here, they're gone now. This is scrap, and this appears at random. Once you get a module, a module will decay with use. And you can come into this scrap and you can mine it, you can harvest it, and it will repair the, uh, the module. So you'll want to do that anytime, once you get modules, anytime you see those, try to, try to mine them to, to keep those as close to full strength as possible. Because the last thing you want is for that to break, right? All right, so let's see. We're going to complete the letter delivery. And I bet they want a, a glass chain as well. So we're going to decline that. But we are going to take a guild task. And they have another letter to iron view. That's great. Buy or sell goods. Everything's pretty expensive. And we're going to go ahead and recharge for two gold. And we're going to just repeat that. Now, you see we can go in two different directions. Now, here's the different part. If you use the left and right arrows, you can scroll around the map. If you use the A, D, W, and S keys, you'll actually take off. So, I want to use these. So, Lights Crag, let's check our quest. All right, Lights Crag is the island. So, we don't have anything we need to do there. So we want to go the opposite direction. So we want to come to this southwest area. All right. We're going to stop at South Tree. Let's see what they've got going on. Now, this is an empty island. All right. This is, uh, and what we could do is we can purchase that island. 
for 7500 and I'm guessing we can build a house here. In fact, we can build our mansion here. Something for a little later in the game when we uh, get wealthy, I suppose. All right. So there's our first week. It went all the way around, got to the top. So we have to pay 26 gold this week for crew and ship maintenance. So we're down to 558. All right, and I cannot use that crane. Of course, we knew that. I just wanted to show you again. Might have been that I forgot, but not really. And we have a new trading post. All they have here is the trade post and a recharge station. But it's good to find these recharge stations because you're going to need them the whole game, no matter what size ship you have. Let's take a look at what they've got. All right, so they've got stone, gems, flowers, and sand. And again, they're all pretty expensive. So we're not going to buy anything. So let's keep on keeping on. All right, we're going to head out this way. And there's a storm, so let's try to get around it. And we'll visit this island that we just happened upon. All right, now here is a sand island. So you remember they wanted this to do that. Um, first off, let's scout for resources. All right, we pick up four sand. Now we can buy this for 250 gold. I'm not really ready to do that. I want to have a couple of thousand gold in the bank. Maybe even have my next ship. I think the ship is the first thing I want to do. But at least we know there's a sand island. All right, so here, in fact, here we go. So now we can see these quest markers. All right, we're going to come around. And we're just going to kind of hit some of these islands on the way, seeing what we can harvest. Now, remember, the first time you discover an island, you can harvest everything by scouting. Once you've scouted it, it's no longer an option. You have to have that module. This is a basket module, and that allows you to gather the apples and fruit, uh, apples and some wood. So we're already into our batteries. So we've got a problem here. <laughs> Houston, we have a problem. All right, we can scout this island because we just discovered it. Now we're full. You see all of our slots for storage are full. But we've just gained some knowledge. So we have to go seek the knowledge of the giants. The island of the giants is in the far southwest corner. But let's get to this island here. There's another week. We're going to visit this island, and hopefully they have a recharge station. They do. Excellent. So first thing we're going to do is recharge. Boom. And we want to come over and deliver our letter. And I bet their production chain is for the glass as well. I'm going to go ahead and accept it. All right, so they want glass bottles. Oh, there's also an ancient lighthouse here that we can rebuild. And this shows you that you need 15 wood and 30 sand to rebuild the first level. And there are five levels to rebuild it. So we'll get, a, we'll get some notification about that. Uh, and that's be, that'll be another quest. Now we can take a look here. Now they pay a lot for logs, flowers, and gems. We do happen to have four logs, so let's go ahead and sell that. Make a little bit of money. And nothing else to do here. So we're going to head down over here. There's that wind gust I was talking about earlier. And we just discovered the trading post of Southby. Well, looks like we've got an email. So we're going to check our mailbox. Hey, and this is from Guildmaster Ash. I know you discovered an old lighthouse. It used to be a monument. Uh, it might be the right time for us to rebuild it. So that's going to be another quest in our chain here. All right. Now we're going to complete the letter delivery, make a little more money. And we're going to take the next guild task to Copperhagen. I want to come over now and look at, we want to recharge. 
We want to buy and sell goods. All right, so a new island. They have apples, herbs, and iron. Again, very high. So, But we do have this stack of apples that we can sell for 10 units, 10 gold apiece, which is pretty good. So we're going to sell that. In fact, that's as high as it gets, or at least we think it is based on our knowledge of the world right now. And they will not buy sand, which is okay. And that puts us up to here. All right, let's take a look at the ship workshop. I really don't want to spend for a module. I do not know if modules carry over. So we're going to leave modules alone until we get our next ship. But we're getting close. All right, now how close are we to the southwest corner? The problem is is our battery right so I don't think we're gonna be ready to do anything with that so let's just take off towards this point all right and we'll we'll just forage for some stuff that we can maybe sell or find new trading post yay land Kirk all right so what's the first thing go ahead and recharge Let's check out their goods. So they buy sand, herbs, and apples. Now, here you see they've started to drop. Now, I have some sand, and I could use the space, but I want to sell it somewhere where it's four or five, and I really don't want to spend the money just yet until I get a bigger picture. But let's check. Who has sand? And Now, Edge Peak buy sand for five and it is 123 kilometers away so let's see if we can find where edge peak is it's right here they do have a recharge station so you know what we're gonna go back in and we're gonna buy that sand and I want to buy as much of it as I can so I hit Z to where I could buy the whole stack and it'll cost us 164 so we'll buy that we're fully charged and I want to head up to here now but again I want to stop and hit anything we can there's something here so I don't know, what do you guys think of the game so far? You know, it's it's kind of, uh, you know, it's a game that you could actually play without thinking about it very much. But let's recharge our battery. A new trading ground. All right, so we've got sand. Everything's pretty expensive here, so we're not going to buy anything. But again, that gets added to our majestic, what is this? The Majestic Carrot. Ooh, I believe. Hold on, real quick. Don't we have... Oh, we've got a flute. Oh, it's a carrot. So let's click on him. I need music in my life. People around me are in a hurry. So do you guys remember the game Simon? Where you had the four color lights? So we can play. Well, that perks him up. Now we got to watch him real quick. Green, green. Red, green. Green. Red. Oh, and he's all happy. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take off. But we can come back and build our relationship with him. But we, uh, we made him happy by playing some music. All right, back up to Edge Peak. Remember, they had some stuff. That, we're not going there for any particular reason. We just want to hit the bazaar. Not the bazaar, the trading post. There are bazaars in the game which are kind of like um, auction houses. You can, you can offer stuff up and then people will buy them. Depending on the day of the week, there are more people. There are more people on the blue day and even more people on the green day. So the fewest... Next fewest, average, more, very crowded. So you really want to try to go to the bazaars on a blue or green day. 
All right, so they will buy a lot of stone, so let's offer those. They will also buy sand. Now, here's what we look at. We have paid an average price of four, not four gold, but they will buy it at eight. So we'll double our money. So let's offer that. Now, they do have a maximum amount of money, so you might be loaded down with 6,000 gold worth, but they can only buy 527. Now, is there anything we want to buy here? Doesn't look like it. So there's a nice chunk. We're going to go ahead and recharge our ship. And then let's double check our tasks here. And I tell you what, I've reached 30 minutes, so I want to go ahead and stop. But uh, anyway, I'm going to keep playing because I'm enjoying the game. It's kind of a mindless game. You don't have to pay a lot of attention to it. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, give a thumbs up if it's something you want to see more of. And uh, I do take that into consideration. And we may do a Let's Play on this down the road. Guys, have a good one. Again, this is uh, Merchant of the Skies. Bought it on Steam. $14.99 American. Not a bad price. One of the lower games. And, uh, you know, it's, you know, like I said, I've put probably about six or seven hours into it at least so far since yesterday. Guys, have a good one. We will talk to you later. Bye.